All right, Brush Monkeys, we're back, and this week we're painting this little figure. Her name's Jehenna. It's uh, number 77669 from Reaper Miniatures. And she's like, uh, I'm not sure if she's supposed to be undead or if she's just visiting the grave of her of a lover or somebody. Um, I was originally thinking about painting her as a ghost girl, like uh, doing it all in white and then do an ethereal green, like uh, Tesseract glow or something all over it. But I tried it on another figure, on an old old uh, grenadier figure, and it looked okay. Um, it was a really quick little paint, and I did it uh, just kind of off camera as a as a test. It looked okay. Uh, I wasn't wild about it, so um, so I'm not going to do it on here. Uh, that would made for a really quick paint because it's basically just everything's white. This is tesseract glow. The rest of it is basilicanum gray, dawnstone dry brush. Boom, we're done. Um, this is still going to be pretty quick paint, but I'm going to actually paint her up like she's just a human visiting the the grave at night, or like she might be she might be undead, like a, a vampire or something. But uh, I'm going to go with. Um, the Reaper Fair Skin as her base skin color. I'll give it the Soft Tone Skin Wash. And then a highlight of Opal Skin. Um, then I'm going to mix uh, Golden Blonde with the, op with the Pearl Skin Pearl Pigment Toner for her hair. And make it really, really kind of platinum blonde. And then her dress is going to be Ulthwin Gray with white highlights and Praxity White Dry Brush. Then the base is going to be Basilicanum Gray with a Dawnstone Dry Brush on the stone and these little rocks here on the base. And then the base band will be black. So it's going to be a pretty quick paint, but uh, it should still look really nice when we get it done. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here and get started, and then we'll come back when I get her skin done. See you soon. Bye. All right, brush monkeys. I've got her skin done. She looks pretty good. Uh, still looks a little bit messy, but that'll get cleaned up when I do the dress and the hair. But so far, so good. She's looking pretty good. Got her lips painted and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up her hair color and do that next, and then we'll get on with the dress. So, like I said, this is gonna be a really fairly quick little paint, but. Uh, uh, I think it's going to look really good when it's done. So, see you soon. Bye. Alright, we've got our hair painted. And, um, the dress based, uh, all started. Um, the dress still kind of looks like garbage. It's a little thin in places. But, uh, as the great Duncan Rhodes says, uh, we'll use two thin coats on that. Um, her hair, uh, I mixed the golden blonde with the pearl pigment toner and then gave it a dry brush of Praxetti White to get that nice platinum blonde. I think it looks really good. Um, like I said, I'm going to give her dress another coat once this dries and uh, hopefully smooth that out a little bit and then uh, we'll go through and highlight it with the with the matte white. Um, so yeah, she's going in and out of focus, but there we go. Yeah, she's looking alright so far. As you can see, the skin kind of comes together a lot nicer once the uh, once the dress is based. So I'm going to pause here and go put the second coat on, and then uh, we'll come back and take a look at her. All right, see you soon. Bye. All right, brush monkeys, I got her dress done, and you can just see the subtle difference between the Ulthwin gray and the white. And I went to dry brush it with Praxetti White, and the dry brush I was using still had a little bit of green paint on it. Like I hadn't quite cleaned it, I hadn't cleaned it off with the brush soap. I thought I'd just swish it around in the water and dry it off, and that'll be fine. Um, it wasn't fine. <laughs> so it put just a little bit of just pale, pale green on there, because it was mixed with the Praxetti White. And it wasn't what I was going for, but I don't hate it, so I think I'm going to leave it. So that's coming out better than I thought. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the base here with the uh, Basilicanum Gray. 
and then uh, give the stone and the uh, this little rock here uh, a light dry brush of Dawnstone and then uh, we're pretty close to calling this girl done I'm pretty happy with how she's turning out so I'm gonna pause here and go do that and then uh, we'll come back and take a look at her All right see you soon bye and there ladies and gentlemen is our finished Jehenna from Reaper Bones she looks pretty good I'm pretty happy with how she turned out like I said the base is pretty pretty simplistic not a whole lot involved in that but it sets off the figure really nicely And there's still just a hint of, uh, is she human or is she a ghost? Kind of mystery to her. I really like how she turned out. So thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Call it a week. And uh, next week we'll move on to something else. That should be good. See you then. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey Brush Monkeys, Tom from Flying Monkey Studios here. If you like what you see, click like down below. If you want to be notified when new videos come out, go ahead and click subscribe. It's like over here somewhere, right there. Um, that'll, those will both help with my YouTube numbers and uh, bring me that much closer to monetizing this channel and being able to do what I love to do full time. Uh, if you want to get your hands on some of the miniatures I've painted here, visit our Instagram and Tumblr pages. I post pictures of both of those on a regular basis. I post videos on TikTok on a regular basis. Um, mostly to direct traffic here to the YouTube channel, but you know, there's some other stuff there that's kind of cool. So go check that out. And if you want to show some love for your favorite uh, monkey-based miniature painter, go check out our merch store at storefrontier.com slash flyingmonkeystudios to get our t-shirts, sweatshirts, long sleeve t-shirts, um, can cozies, aprons, face masks, we've got all kinds of stuff there in a bunch of different colors uh, including tie-dye, we've got some tie-dye shirts on there uh, if you want to check that out. So go check that out, go check us out on our other social medias and follow us on Twitter for updates on the channel as well and uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye!